She is 16 years old and charged with capital murder. Zephy Trevino is in juvenile detention for allegedly helping to kill a man. Advocates say she is a victim of sex trafficking and it was her pimp who pulled the trigger. He too is behind bars. Now high profile advocates with the Innocence Project are pushing for Zephy's release. Rebecca Lopez has been investigating this case. This is Zephy Trevino at 15 years old during happier times. She played soccer and volleyball and was involved in church until her mother says Zephy got involved with the wrong people. I think as parents, we saw, we saw signs. We just didn't know what they were. Crystal Trevino says they didn't realize what was happening until May of 2019 when Zephy was 16. They couldn't reach her one afternoon or evening after she had told her parents she was going to the mall with friends. I kept texting and, you know, where are you? Come home. Trevino says when her daughter got home that night, she seemed out of it like she'd been drugged and went straight to bed. And she woke up about, oh, probably around 1130-ish, something like that in the evening and crawled up next to me and did not move and cried. What Zephy's parents didn't know was that their daughter had been at these apartments in Grand Prairie. She was there with these two men, Philip Baldenegro and Jesse Martinez, who were 18 and 19 years old at the time. Police say Baldenegro and Martinez, with the help of Zephy, lured two men to the apartment, then ambushed and robbed them. Baldenegro admits he then shot both men, killing one of them. David Finn represents Baldenegro. She brought these guys over to the apartment. She set the whole thing up. Baldenegro, Martinez, and Zephy are all charged with capital murder. When she was arrested, I, I didn't even, I couldn't even put it all together, to be honest. Zephy's parents, advocates, and Baldenegro's attorney agree the men were there to have sex with Zephy. But Zephy's parents claim Baldenegro was forcing their daughter to have sex for money. I'm angry because she's in there. I'm angry that I feel like the system has not fought for her. And I'm also very upset because she needs counseling. She's going to need the help to heal. She's going to need that support. And I don't think she's getting any of that. Zephy has been at the Henry Way Justice Center for a year. I can't even hug her. I can't even talk to her. Trevino says her daughter was offered a 10-year plea deal, which she declined. Civil rights lawyer Justin Moore is now helping the family. When I heard the story and kind of what they had been going through um, and how they were or how they felt they weren't being uh, adequately represented, I really felt compelled to you know, dig a bit deeper and see how I could actually find a way to help them. With Moore's help, Zephy's case has now gotten the attention of record mogul Jason Flom, who heads Lava Records and once ran Capitol Records. He is one of the founding board members of the Innocence Project, which has helped secure the release of hundreds of people wrongfully convicted. It, it's crazy to think that while we're sitting here today, she's sitting in a jail cell. I mean, awaiting her fate as a child. She's a, she's a child. What the hell are we doing? Flom says he thinks Dallas District Attorney John Crusoe should take a closer look at this case. On what planet does it make sense that we're going to charge her with capital murder? It's, um, it's a disastrously failed social policy. The district attorney and prosecutors are prohibited by law from talking about juvenile cases, but Moore says that's part of the problem. Almost everything in the juvenile courts is done in secret. I think we have a system in which when children are being prosecuted, it's tough for the child and the parents and counsel to be on the same page due to the privacy laws that uh, juveniles are quote unquote, protected by. Baldenegro's attorney says his client admits he pulled the trigger, but says he is not a pimp. She's no victim. Uh, they, my client, Philip Baldenegro, is 18. And I think at the time the girl was, if he was uh, 16, I had a boyfriend girlfriend relationship. And that's borne out on my client's cell phone. Trevino says her daughter is a sex trafficking victim and says it can happen to any young, impressionable girl. We had things in place that we thought would protect her from from a lot of things. Um, but it turned into, um, you know, my worst nightmare. In Grand Prairie, I'm Rebecca Lopez.